What's going on everybody, Chadley here, and in today's video we're going to be looking at a new gun from DLC 2 in Borderlands 3. I have played basically the entire day trying to get my hands on all sorts of different new guns from this DLC, and this gun I'm about to show you is probably in the top 3. This gun seriously destroys, and that is the Clairvoyance. The Clairvoyance is a Jacobs assault rifle here. It's always cryo damage and its special effect is when you hit a crit, it's going to apply a sticky and when that sticky detonates, it's going to ricochet a cryo bullet at a nearby enemy and also deal damage to the enemy that the sticky was on. So this gun is kind of a cross between a Torg and a Jacobs. And so this one that I have right now, this is by far best anointment I have but it's not the best parts unfortunately with this gun parts do matter significantly so as you can guys can see my magazine size is 20 that's on the higher end of magazine size so my damage is pretty low right now it's about 4200 there are versions with 8 to 10 in the magazine and I have some that are about 5500 and I have had people in my Twitch chat say that they have some at 5,900 damage. And I know like 1,300 damage doesn't sound like the biggest difference in the world. But the damage difference between them is insane. When I was testing unanointed versions at like 20 magazines versus like 8 magazines. I was hitting about like maybe 60, 70k with these 20s. And then about 700. 100k consistently obviously that's with overkill and stuff but regardless i was using the same stuff with both guns but i was hitting about 700k consistently when i was hitting crits on enemies with the versions that have like 8 to 10 in the mag so if you guys can get your hands on those you will destroy everything i don't have one of those with a good anointment yet but I'm going to show you guys this rack attack one here because this does perfectly fine. This rack attack anointment definitely makes up for that difference in the damage between this one and the low mag versions. And then we will switch over to our flak nukem and then use one with about, I think it's 8 or 10 in the magazine. And you guys can see how that one still destroys and it doesn't even have an anointment that helps our damage. So right now I am on our frosted flak. I just leveled him up to 57. I will update this build relatively soon. I got to keep uh, working on some gear, but otherwise clairvoyance with 100% rack attack. And then we have bonus shock, bonus radiation, and our modifiers, normal bullet damage, enemy explosions. And we're just gonna go ahead and jump down and kill Trant right here. We're gonna go ahead and head down. We're gonna cast our racks. Obviously we're gonna throw its piss and right here, if you guys hit your crits, he disappears. Now, if this was an eight to 10 version, we would kill him seriously in just a couple shots. If we had the same rack attack anointment, it is absolutely ridiculous. This gun is amazing. And also, if you guys forgot, Trant resists cryo and this gun only deals cryo. And we were still able to kill him that fast. It's truly, truly ridiculous. But otherwise, I'm going to switch over to our Flak Nukem with that. Uh, I think it's a bonus rack attack charge, but it has 10 in the magazine. And you guys can see how yes. that one does. OK, we just switched over to our Flak Nukem here. And this is the other clairvoyance I have. It is a 10 in the mag extra charge of rack attack. And as you guys can see, it does 5450 for its damage. And we're just going to see how ridiculous this actually is. Also, a couple things I did want to mention. So this gun can also come in a masher version. The masher version is still not as good as these eight to 10 mag ones. I promise you I've done a bunch of testing with them. And it, this one, the eight to tens just blow everything else out of the water. And also I should mention this gun comes from Critchy in Cursehaven. If you guys wanna get your hands on it, it is a crew challenge mission. Just go ahead and run into the little arena. There's a fast travel about five seconds away. Just run in kill him and he has a chance to drop in this for you guys now over here on flak nukem i will be using the one shotter this is the only shield that i have on me that is bonus shock damage which is kind of necessary not necessary but it definitely helps out with all these shielded enemies and then we have bonus incendiary for the health parts 
But otherwise, we're just gonna go ahead and test that out. I'll try to not let this affect too much, but otherwise, let's go ahead and jump right into here. And that's just one shot and he's dead. Otherwise, you guys can like keep like chaining up some damage with overkill and such. We can two shot that flamethrower heavy. And the Nog gets one hit. And we could probably hit easily over a million. On the Kraken in the takedown with this exact gun, I hit over one million. It was a little ridiculous. I did have to hit his crit spot. Um, something else to mention with this gun is, so on crit, it applies a sticky. For whatever reason, this does not seem to work with Megavore. Megavore will proc and you'll get a crit, but no sticky will appear on the enemy. So no matter who you are playing, aim for the enemy's actual crit spot if you want to deal the insane amounts of damage that this gun can live up to now if i had a gamma burst version of this gun i can't imagine how much this gun would just destroy everything more than it already does that was a cryo heavy that we still one tapped it's this gun is insane we can hit hundreds and hundreds of k 500k right there and if you guys keep hitting your crits and chaining overkill and stuff like that use amp shield you guys can hit some seriously crazy numbers but otherwise i'm gonna go ahead and fight my way all the way over to trunt and we can see how this one compares to the rack attack one so we made it over here to trunt and we're just go ahead and drop on in probably won't actually throw gamma burst down just so i can keep proccing action skill ends and he's dead just like that there is no anointment that helps our damage with this gun it's truly that insane and this is why i'm saying get those eight to ten mag ones yeah you'll be reloading more but you'll be killing things way faster it's not even a question but yeah hopefully you guys can get your hands on a good version of this gun i've been farming like crazy for a good one and this game does not seem to want to give me one except for that rack attack one but that still wasn't the right magazine size for the damage but otherwise, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it to let me know. If you guys want to see more overviews of weapons from the new DLC or upcoming build videos, including a lot of the weapons and gear from the DLC, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I'm going to be streaming every single day over on Twitch for a long time with all the quarantine stuff and the new DLC. It's basically all I'm going to be doing. So if you guys need some entertainment during these hard times, definitely come on over. Would love to see some of you guys over there. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.